Now, when your kids play sports, we know that there's a lot of injuries that come with that, right? Like they may get a sprained ankle, they might break something, but there's injuries that you can't always see concussions. Well, there was just a report done by University of Michigan School of Nursing, and they found that about one in four teens in the U.S. has suffered at least one concussion. Here's more. Over! We caught up with 15-year-old Ben Clayson at his soccer practice, but he also plays flag football, basketball, and he golfs. A couple years ago, Ben came to a sudden stop on the football field. He doesn't remember the hard hit he took, but he does remember waking up after it. I was just laying on the ground and he was asking me questions. And I was just laying on the ground and that's really all I remember about that. Ben seemed okay, so he went straight from one game to the next, where his uncle was his soccer coach. So I kind of watched him a little closer during warm-ups um, and everything seemed normal. Just uh, another game, getting ready for it and interacting with his teammates, how he always does. And so I didn't see or feel, you know, any concern, and and felt like he was fine to play in our soccer game that day. But a few minutes later, Ben was not okay. And within the next few minutes, I kind of noticed he wasn't playing like his normal self. Uh, just seemed a little out of sorts. Um, you know, just kind of confused. Turns out Ben had a concussion. Nearly 25% of teens report they've had at least one concussion. We rely a lot on our student athletes to self-report. Dr. Betsy Reese with Lone Peak Hospital says concussions are head injuries that usually happen during whiplash-like motions when the brain moves around in the skull. It's important that teenagers let someone know if their head gets hurt because coaches and parents don't always see every play or every player. As a coach or a parent, because this sometimes you get guilt from parents, but they're like, oh, I didn't see it. Um, when you have lots of moving parts on the field and there's not really something to track, there might be a collision that happens backfield where the play is ahead of them. You're watching the play, not what's going on in the backfield. Even if it is your kid in the backfield, that just, you know, by the nature of watching sports, you're going to watch the play. Symptoms to watch for include headaches, nausea or vomiting, dizziness, confusion, or just not feeling right. Early treatment can help reduce symptoms in the short term and help prevent long-lasting effects. Now, if you think kids are the only ones at risk, think again. Adults need to not forget, too, that just because you're an adult, you can still get a concussion and you can still have a head injury and that can have lots of long-lasting effects because it can affect your work productivity. Dr. Reese says adults commonly get a concussion in a car crash, and weekend warriors who are out there mountain biking or skiing need to pay attention too. In Ben's case, the concussion sidelined him from the sports he loved for a time and also kept him out of school. Oh, I stayed home for a couple days and then my mom talked to me and was like, do you want to try? I was like, sure, I'm feeling good. And then right when I got to school, my head was just pounding. I was incredibly surprised that, you know, a week or two after Ben's concussion, that he was still struggling to get back to school. Two years later, Ben is still playing sports, but he says he's playing it safe and paying attention to any injury he gets. Because I don't want to get a concussion again or, yeah, have that experience again. And that's a call his coach can definitely get behind. It's much more important that the, the player is safe than the outcome of a game. Now, it's important to note we're not saying don't ever play sports because sports are obviously important for kids. We're just saying that make sure you're talking to your kids. Make sure that they understand the risks and that if they do have something happen, they report that possible concussion.